Hey there guys and welcome back to another short video hosted by your boy Shane Bitna. And in today's video I would like to discuss and talk about dropshipping. A lot of people have been asking me what exactly dropshipping is and how they can actually go about getting started. So for those that don't know me, uh, I'm Shane Bitna and I host our weekly show called The Business Talk where we help entrepreneur and business owners just like yourself is showing them exactly how they can go about increasing brand awareness, get more customers and essentially increase their sales using our strategies of marketing across Facebook, Instagram, as well as Google. So, so you have been thinking about starting your own dropshipping business, but you're not sure where to start. And you're also not sure if this is a great business model or if it's something that you should venture and invest your time in. So what exactly is dropshipping? So dropshipping is a business model whereby you sell product through your own online store. The products that you sell through this online store, you don't own any of the products or any of the stock that you are currently selling. But what happens every time you receive a order through your online store, do you have to place an order with your supplier and how that works is, for example, if you list an item on your store for $100 or 1,000 Rand and a customer places an order through your platform, you are only, based on your supplier and the product that you sell, you are only going to have to place an order with your supplier at the cost price that that supplier has agreed and confirmed with you. So with this example, if, for example, the cost price of that $100 item was $50, you have to pay your supplier in that case $50 for the cost of that item. Your supplier will thereafter deliver that product straight and directly to your customer. So you don't even have to interfere or interact with any of the products that you are selling through your dropshipping store. And with using that simple basis of dropshipping model, how exactly do you make profit? So as mentioned in the previous example is that you charge your customer 1,000 Rand or $100 and you've only paid for that product from your supplier for 500 Rand or $50. You therefore are able to keep the difference in profit, which in this case is $50 or 500 Rand uh, in, that, in that event. And that is how you make profit using or or using the dropshipping model. So all of this sounds, again, you know, too good to be true. But uh, from a dropshipping model uh, off the start is that it is a low risk and a low investment business. And for that reason, uh, and, and that reason being that you don't have to own any of the stock upfront. So you don't have to put out any capital to buy the stock that you want to sell. And neither are you investing in products that you are not sure whether it's going to sell or not. So therefore, it's also been you know, low risk uh, as well. But at the end of that is that once you find a great product and a great supplier, you are therefore able to grow a profitable business uh, if you are able to replicate and increase the amount of sales and orders that you generate through your own dropshipping store. So what do you need to get started in your own dropshipping business? So the first thing that you would need, as mentioned, is a product to sell. So there are many products in the market that you can choose to sell, whether it's uh, home, furniture, it could be health or beauty, it could even be you know, fashion, apparel, or sneakers. You know, just, just to mention or name, or name a few, uh, a quick Google search would show up and produce hundreds and thousands of different products that you could sell through your dropshipping store. But obviously you would need to do the relevant research uh, as well as the relevant knowledge of your market you know, before selecting that product. The next thing that you would need is a Shopify or an online store. So the online store is the place where customers will be placing their orders of your dropshipping store. This is where they'll be able to view your products that you are selling and they will also be able to track their orders through your online store and make payments. 
So Shopify does offer a free 14-day trial for you to start uh, off and test if this business is the right business for you to start or venture in. And if not, after that 14-day free trial, you are able to select a package. Uh, and the smallest package on Shopify is currently $29 per month, which converted into rands are roughly between 520 and 550 rand per month. The next thing you're gonna need is a payment gate. So depending on the different currencies that you are gonna be accepting payments uh, for, you would need to select the payment gate in order to fulfill and complete payments uh, on your online store. So if you are based in South Africa, the payment gate options are PayFast and PayGate and Peach Payments to name a few. If you are from an international uh, point of view, then the likes of uh, PayPal would be one of your options uh, of payment gates. The next thing that you would need is a courier partner. So this could either be negotiated and confirmed from yourself, or this could be, you could get help or assistance from your supplier. So as mentioned, uh, you don't have to be involved in any of the products yourself, but it's important that you do fulfill your order from your supplier to your customer because uh, any customer that has placed an order and purchased online and doesn't that doesn't receive you know the order in time or doesn't receive the order at all is going to be a very unhappy uh, customer and it's not good for any for any business and once you've confirmed you know your courier partner again just as a suggestion if you are in south africa I would highly recommend that you use the U Africa uh, platform because what they do is they aggregate across all the major courier partners uh, from the likes of Courier Guy, uh, Internet Express, as well as uh, Dawnwing for that matter, uh, and therefore be able to give you, you know, quite a good uh, charge on the service, but also to be able to make sure that you deliver uh, your goods and parcels you know, to your customers. But last but not least, uh, something we haven't covered and I think we'll cover in more, in more depth in the, next, in the next video is knowing how to market and advertise your, your new dropshipping store so that customers are able to see your new, your new dropshipping business as well as to be able to make purchases you know, through your, your dropshipping store and through your business. And that in a nutshell is exactly what dropshipping is and if you are a new business or entrepreneur that has been thinking about starting your own dropshipping business and not sure where to start or you know where to find suppliers or even you know what product to, to start or you know to sell then or all i'm going to ask is that uh, i'm going to leave a link down down below where you can make a free book a free call with me where i'll be able to explain and guide and help you exactly step by step of how we can show you in starting your own dropshipping business uh, for myself, uh, I've been running a dropshipping business for a number of a number of years, where and I've seen you know great success, not only for myself uh, but also for my students uh, and for my clients as well. And uh, again, uh, e-commerce and dropshipping is something that is new to a lot of people, but at the same time, uh, online shopping is 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 not a a new form of transactions or the way people shop. I think, uh, as mentioned in previous videos, I think COVID-19 has really um, amplified or increased the way people transact and shop with brands and businesses. And I think uh, right now it's a good opportunity for any brand or business or entrepreneur to actually get involved and start investing you know, in, in dropshipping. And I think just on a closing note, uh, I think in any business, uh, this is not a get rich quick scheme. There is no overnight success in a dropshipping business or in any business, you know, for that matter. It does require uh, lots of work, uh, you know, focus, dedication, as well as commitment. But at the same time, the, the rewards, you know, of dropshipping business is very lucrative. Uh, you are able to generate a good income, you know, for yourself. It could be a passive, uh, passive income. It could be, you know, a full-time or a part-time business, you know, for yourself, or it could just be a passion project, you know, a hobby that you would like, you know, to start or just, you know, actually kick off, you know, for the new year. But as always, uh, thanks very much for watching uh, today's today's video and episode. And if you have any questions or comments, you know, feel free to leave it, you know, down below. And as we always, as we as we always mention, uh, let's learn what we can together.